crap! Relax. I already took him to school. I was supposed to do that. Why don't you wake me? Because you were sleeping so peacefully, and after the last few nights of tossing and turning, I just didn't have the heart. Thank you, Marasco. No problem. So how was Shane? Still don't want to talk about the fight he got into at school? You guessed it. But he did promise me that it would never happen again. Oh, well, let's hope not. No matter what we do, our son keeps getting into trouble. Are we, like, the worst parents ever? Well, let's see. Uh, my mom put me on the doorstep of a hospital when I was a baby. Oh, yes. And my dad basically tampered with a DNA test so that he wouldn't have to acknowledge me. No, I'd say my parents have us beat. If, if Shane's getting into fights at school, it must be because he's mad about something. Him and Charlie were getting pretty close. I think it's because he turned out to not be his granddad. I don't think so. Because I was so upset about it? I hate to break it to you, Balsam, but you're not exactly the center of Shane's universe anymore. Believe me, I know. According to him, the fight just happened. And I don't understand, because I'm a girl. Yeah. Well, boys that age have to put the testosterone somewhere. Oh, God. Um, how long before our little boy goes from fighting to loving... Well, he's 14, so I would say that we would have about a month. No! No! I am so not ready to deal with my son having a sex life. I'm kidding. I'm sure we have plenty of time before we have to deal with that. Okay, good. I have an idea. Instead of uh, thinking about our son's future sex life, how about we deal with our present one? Deal with? I thought we were doing fine. Oh, no, we are. I'm not complaining. It's just I, f I feel like I've been so wrapped up in this paternity thing, I haven't been paying enough attention to, you know, us. Awesome. You don't need to worry about me. Because I'm in this for the long haul, remember? I know. It's just I don't want to take our relationship for granted. So I love you, Marasco, and I want to show you how much. But you're all dressed and showered, so... So what? You can't stop thinking about it, can you? Right now, all I'm thinking about is you. It's okay, Balsam. Finding out that Clint is your father... No, that man will not be my father. I don't care what any test says. You know... I get that you hate Clint for messing with your paternity results, and I'm not too happy that he messed with Jessica and Brody's. But you have been down on Clint for months now, way before all this started, and I, I've never understood why. I hate Clint because of some other stuff I know he's done. What other stuff? Stuff that I should have told somebody a long time ago. Someone in particular? Yeah. Oh. I want Clint. I have done something horrible. Jeez, you remember when Kelly hired me to find David Vickers so that Doreen could have closure? Yeah. You found him. He was living it up, going to phone parties. Yeah, no. He, he wasn't. I lied about that. You did. Yeah. David Vickers, my best friend's son, has been rotting in a Moroccan prison, put there by Clint the day he was supposed to marry Dorian. And I've known about it almost from the beginning. I don't understand. Rex, if you knew where David was... How could I not tell Bo that his son has been held captive in a farm prison? Because Clint convinced me. What? How? All right, like I said, I was doing some investigating for Kelly, and I broke into Clint's office, and I found a file that showed what he had done to Vickers. 
and Clint caught me trying to leave his office with it, and he threatened to throw me in prison for corporate theft. Well, why didn't you tell me? We could have fought him. Clint Buchanan? No, he's, he's, he's too powerful. Besides, I couldn't risk leaving you and Shane high and dry. You don't think Bo would have helped? Yeah, but who knows how long that would have taken. And in the meantime, Clint could have done whatever he wanted. <sighs> like, pull some strings and have your grant revoked. Wait, what? Oh, my. Clint did that? You were so happy at school. You found something you loved. And Clint promised that he would make everything go away as long as I kept my mouth shut. That's when the assistant's job magically popped up. Even Christian wondered how there was money to pay me all of a sudden. So I kept my mouth shut. I hated doing it to Bo. But now Clint's threats don't mean anything. So you have to tell Bo. He's gonna hate me for this. That's a risk you're gonna have to take, Paulson. I know. I gotta tell him. I gotta do it now. Yes. Damn it. Clint! Knock! It's to talk to you. What can I do for you, Balsam? There's something I need to tell you about your son. 